Blessings, dear ones. Welcome back. So someone asked me if I could do a video about self-disgust. And it resonates. So here I am. And of course, self-disgust is another form of self-loathing and self-hatred. And I do believe that we all hold self-hate in one on one lev level or another and so when I work with people um, this is what I come across both when I work with others and in myself of course as well and of course it is many times unconscious and I noticed that for so many people, there is also just admitting that we do not fully love ourselves holds very much shame as well, because we are we live in a, in a time and in a culture that is you should love yourself, you should know your worth, and you should. Uh, it it is as almost as it seems to be a defect or something wrong with you if you um, that you are less than if you don't love yourself it's like it's uh, a trend to really love yourself and of course that the, there is uh, that is where we all are heading but just by looking at the struggles we have in our lives with others and with ourselves it's a is to look at what the world look, looks like. It shows that it's not a world full, filled with people who love themselves. And I think that this um, deep non-acceptance, non, uh, that uh, not to fully love ourselves, it comes from a very early age. And so what we do as adults and when we grow up is that we learn to adapt uh, thoughts that we are worthy, that we of course are love ourselves, that we um, accept ourselves and so on. And we may do that on a certain level. We may do that we, uh, on an intellectual level, but deep down we wouldn't live the lies, we wouldn't struggle in the ways we do, we, we wouldn't feel all these uh, negative emotions and be, uh, had these uh, difficulties in our relationships with, with other people and so on, uh, if we fully loved ourselves. And this is, for me, it is, uh, it is not about loving yourself with all your faults. It is, for me, it, it, it is about when we do, when we come into this world and when we, grow up and when we think that we are only this human limited self and uh, we are, are our reactions and thoughts and they are not accepted of course we cannot love ourselves but what uh, for me I can only speak of my own journey and uh, when I work with people um, in sessions so what happens when we really come into that stillness within and we really connect with our true self is that we discover, discover, rediscover that we are love. So it, it's not about learning how to accept yourself or learning how to love yourself. It is about rediscovering who you truly are. And that is love. And that is... So when we move from the identification of our us as the false self, the ego self, the limited self, the illusions of ourself and really rediscover our true essence. We cannot but love ourselves. And of course, for many, this doesn't not happen overnight. And it is a journey of, it is a journey. And uh, so, so as we grow up, as small children, we are so in the need for the love and acceptance from others 
And every time we feel that something about us is wrong, it is as we really is searching for the proofs that something is wrong with us. And when we get this reflected in others, it may be by a look or some, someone's telling us something or what it may be, uh, we, we tend to get evidence proofs for us not being lovable, for us being something wrong. So that deep sense of something's wrong with me, I think we carry all carry it uh, in, in a one degree or another. And of course, if you have been through, if you have been bullied, bullied, or if you are someone who has been abused in one way or another, of course, there is this feeling of um, something, there's something wrong with me on an unconscious level because this happened to me and the, the, it, we tend to identify ourselves and of course this happens on a very subconscious level uh, so the bad things that we experience, the bad emotions that arise in us uh, due to a certain circumstance or an event or in a uh, family uh, in a relationship or the family uh, uh, dynamics. Uh, so the negative emotions and reactions in us, we tend to uh, identify as them. So we identify us to be that um, that uh, negative emotions. That 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 is something that we are. So we tend to take it and point it towards ourself. I don't know if I make myself clear, but this is what I see. And this is uh, very, as I said, very subconscious. And um, so when this, uh, and what this, what this does to us is that we, we repel people and we repel good things uh, to happen to us because we have this deep sense of, I'm not worthy. Um, there's something wrong with me. I feel disgusted uh, for being me, for being this body. Or when I react in this way, or when people talk to me in that sense, or there's something wrong with me. And this, as uh, as I said, it may take many forms. Uh, so some people they uh, they project outwards, and they get um, they tend to be have an aggressive and violent behavior towards our others and um, some people they tend to um, do um, tend to tend, uh, take that aggression and violence towards themselves with negative self-talk and guilt and blame and and so on it may be act active thoughts uh, of, of uh, you you are not good enough you are this, this is so typical you and why it is happening to you and what's wrong with you and you're so stupid and so on or it may just be these very negative emotions towards yourself. So this is a very very important one and I'm very happy that this, um, I got this request <clears throat> because of course it is not true and of course there is something we can do about it and this is the journey, the sense, ascension journey we are on to return to who we truly are and return to see how our lower minds has function uh, that we are depend dependent on outer circumstances to accept us to love us to uh, appreciate us and treat us in a way so we know that we are worthy so that we know that we are love worthy of love and lovable or and perfectly perfectly divine it is not that way, it's the other way around. When we come into not the intellectual knowing that we try to convince ourselves, I am good enough, I am it's still good enough, but we don't really feel it. So it is the other way around. We, we wake up, we wake up the ones to who we truly are. And when we wake up to that truth, and that is what it's all about, that's when the rest falls apart. So what happens? What I 
seen in myself when I discover something I don't like or I have a reaction or uh, I do something uh, that I think I shouldn't have done or react in a certain way and it brings up these feelings of guilt of uh, I should be better than this, I shouldn't do this, I shouldn't uh, have these emotions um, or reactions. Uh, so I really noticed myself uh, tend to close down and withdraw and really uh, contract. So what we need to do in those uh, times when we have these uh, emotion sensations, we need to really open up to instead of closing the light, uh, closing, blocking the light out, the love light out, to instead take a step closer <sighs> to be in that emotion and just really truly allow allow divine grace to shine on us, the, the divine light to 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 meet these illusions, to not hide it from the light, but in the opposite, really truly expose it to the light. And this is a bit hurtful and uh, it may be feel painful and feel uh, we just want to shut down, we, we, we want to hide and withdraw. Uh, so to do that, uh, the opposite, to really say a prayer. I expose this for the to the light. I know that this is an illusion, and please show me the truth. I willingly trade these illusions for truth, and just breathe and feel it in your body. And in stillness, accept the light that is, that is surrounding you, that is in you, to grow. And show you a different reality, to show you that you are beyond all these programmed misconceptions. Okay, dear ones, so we will move into the light language part of transmission. Yes, breathe. Mirin akia resun oluru shuvadranaya tri akia renasimiar. So I have very, um, there is a strong connection. So when I got this request and I started to really uh, think about this theme. Uh, there was a strong presence of Mother Mary and Ascended Lady Diana. And they have very much, they share, they are of the same consciousness, they share uh, very much the same energies of this unconditional love, the mother love, the love for the wounded inner child. And they are here to offer you some of their healing. Dear child of the light, the innocent, innocent one, you go through the darkness and that's the journey. There's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with what you experience. There is nothing wrong with what you feel. There is nothing wrong with the non-acceptance of self, of course, dear ones. Because you don't know the true self. You don't know the light that you are. 
you don't know the depth of your being. There is no such thing as sin in you. Yes, fear, self-hate, self-disgust, may create another reaction that is not an extension of love. And you, dear ones, are the cruelest ones to yourself. Punishing yourself for the belief of you not being lovable. Yes, dear ones, this journey, this human journey, out of the darkness into the light, just as the journey of the lotus flower from the dark mud into the eternal light, Shinrara Yarana Kyar, is a re, it's an undoing. of illusions, a rediscover of light, Marna o Okun. And yes, dear ones, to bring all your illusions to light. Hold nothing back. Hide nothing. Because, dear ones, us, the collective consciousness, that you call the Ascended Masters. Yes, dear ones, we've been on this journey just the same as you are on now, and many of you have been for decades of times and eons of times on this, on this earth plane, and we know this journey to be a painful one. We know the hardships, we know the suffer of living disconnected from the love that you are. Shinaranaki ur noshun. The shame and the guilt. Min aranaki ur. That creates more of separation. Min aranashin arana is iriai. As you awake to the light that you are, to the love, eternal peace, you will rediscover. The one mind, the unity that is you, that you share, that we all share. And this is done step by step, one per pain, one hurtful thought, one painful emo emotion at a time exposed to love and dear ones we are now here to offer you this grace and we ask of you to take all this discomfort the pain and the grief the burden of being separated from love, of thinking and believing that you are, in any sense, less than perfect love. Just for what you are or for what you have done. And bring them to us. And offer them to the light. Because, dear ones, it is not yours 
to keep. Don't guard them with your life anymore. Because it's not, it doesn't belong to you. It never was yours. Can't you feel, dear ones? It wants to leave you because it doesn't resonate with whom you are and what you are waking up to. It wants to again transmute back into love, to light. And in its place, more light will be known to you. Put it in our hands. Ere nasim ekiar anako shidranashi aranaso And for some of you, what we hear is you don't know how this play out in your life because you do believe that you have nothing but love for yourself. But no, dear ones, it is the fears you hold. It is the disbelief. It is the disconnection. It is the dark thoughts. The regret of the past. The fear of the future. The irritation or the rage. The anxiety. Or the, 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 the depression, the blame of you or another. This has many faces. And worship none of them. Niranakitus ani aliarnas, imur nukua vaishanar isinara, ishan area sush unur aki aliar ana shinar. Sushani Ariahu Akiar Sinaya Watch Ayan E. Tarnakian Si Ashu Su Arian Nidrashan Niaranai Allow your body, every aspect, every cell in your body to open up and fully release these long-held energies. Miki saniar sofai inarashum ko ur anianar anai sokun shanar And we now connect your mind, the program the human mind, Filled with illusions, with the healed mind. You see, there once there is, there exists the healed mind. And this healed mind is what you are connecting to bit by bit. And what you are, so to speak, Downloading to use one of your expressions, ur anakin ara, as we say, you are waking up to sinaranakil yaranashin. And now allow this healed mind to influence, to take the place and to replace the ones of illusions. Minar shikinu osush inar ikan ayanar asit. The dash uh, inar ana, a mind that knows only love, sees only love. She nur ayatan kurusanasu, she ara sikyar, so fush ana, isol arana kinur, si shur sanai aki. What will dawn on you is your worthiness. It's nothing you need to retrieve or find or learn how to know and to feel 
It is not about the ones to think or feel. It is the deep, deep knowing to the bones in every heartbeat. Shir Asanako in the deep center and the essence of who you are. Min ar ayakitrar asana ikur sefur ashinara. As we now surround you with this love that we are and that you are extracting all, all that is not of love in your field, in all your bodies, in all your minds, sashinar kush ur sanatriya. Min ashus ashyar akyar sosh nitranako eor 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 o turono kush siarna mar sashu kurunusur min o utanai taranakai. Sishan Ayutras Ayu. They bow to you and they step back. And dear ones, just allow the healed mind shine its light on all of you as it shines away all illusions. Allow it to melt as the healing waters of the healed mind purifies and washes away. As your job, dear ones, is just to stay open and soft, hold on to nothing. This is an act of surrender. Kinar Sun Uru Ascension is to surrender to what we already are, surrender into truth. Shin Ash Iar Anakos. Nun ayan aryan siur okur nil ay ati oku shudra nashi ar sash ana ay uru asun. They show me the sapphire blue heart as if this is the symbol that Ascended Lady Diana holds as the blue ray energies. Transmuting deep shadows into light. The frequency of peace. Nitrana ki kushana. Sinarana ki And she offers you the blue heart. Nimai akinosh osush. Into your mind. Into your heart. Into your sacred chakra, Sinaranakya. Into your throat. To be expression of peace. Of the divine light that you are. And so it is. Satnam. Truth identified. Thank you, dear ones.